All right, so this part of the vlog, we're going to do a quiz time. Okay, just to make things more fun, there is a prize money of $100. What? Really? <laughs> yeah, that will go towards your ski trip across the Philippines. First question is, how do you say in Tagalog, where? Um, sa hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. My name is Pri. And I am James. And we are a couple who loves taking vlogs like this. So make sure to subscribe to our channel to find out more videos about lifestyle, marriage, interracial relationship, and much more. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about how I teach James Tagalog and how he practices Tagalog. So I'm originally from the Philippines mm -hmm. where my native language is Tagalog. My second language is English. And James is? I am from California, so I grew up around a lot of Tagalog speakers growing up and a lot of Filipinos all over Visayan and Tagalog. But um, growing up, I kind of picked up a little bit here and there, but barely any, mostly Spanish. So we're going to do a little re refresher of what I know. So this is like a video also to help me to get better at it. And if you guys want to learn or pick up any words that are useful, these are some pretty useful words that you can use out and about wherever you are. Um, yeah, you can impress some people maybe, I don't know. So just to let you know that I think the most important thing to know before like learning Tagalog or any other language is to have fun. I feel like we're done yeah. with college where we're just like, you know, like learning a new language is like where you sit down and learn and like sit every day. But I feel like the most important thing that I always tell James is that it's supposed to be fun to learn Tagalog. Like it's not his an obligation for him, but I want him to have fun and just like go with the flow whenever I teach him or whenever we integrate Tagalog in our lives. Okay, so for this part of the video, I just want to ask you, James, like why is it important for you to learn Tagalog? When you already, like we live in the ho in Hawaii and when we go to the Philippines, everyone speaks English. Basically, everyone can understand English anyway. Why do you think it's important for you to learn Tagalog? Learning Tagalog, it may sound like, oh, I probably never use it, but in reality, it's actually really cool. Yeah, and I do want our future kids to speak the language as well, wherever we will be living. I think it's it's part of my identity that I want to um, pass down on them because it's going to be part of their identity. They're going to be half Filipinos. Like, I feel like they need to learn the language. It's going to be benefit them so much growing up because um, I do want them to integrate their lives too in the Philippines, like learn much, even though I feel like we're going to be living in the U.S. I do want them to like when they go to the Philippines, like they're part of that culture. Another reason is I sometimes go to the Philippines for some work projects. And so it's very useful to be able to communicate there as well, specifically. And I'll be going, I'll be doing a skate trip, skateboarding across um, the lower part of the country. And it's going to be crazy. So hopefully... I mean, they're going to speak Visayan, but maybe in the earlier parts in Manila, I'll be able to use Tagalog. So make sure to stick around till the end of the video because we will be introducing some really fun tricks and tips to learn Tagalog faster. So when we, back in 2020, that's when we actually started doing these Tagalog lessons. We posted them, them on TikTok. So if you're on TikTok, make sure to follow us on TikTok because we post a lot of these videos where um, we do intercultural activities like learning the language doing games and just like expectations of like marrying a filipina like what reality is of being an interracial relationship so this is our tiktok handle before we start of talking about like tips and how i teach him and how he learns i think it's very important first and foremost that you set realistic expectations when you're trying to learn any language it's important to know that you're not gonna learn even within the year to be honest like i i live in puerto rico and tried to learn spanish for a year and still can't <laughs> do conversations so set realistic expectations don't um, be too hard on yourself if like after a couple of months you still can't do a conversation take your time and as i've mentioned in the beginning like learning a new language learning tagalog is supposed to be fun and so make sure to keep that in mind as you watch the rest of this video so first tip is converse at least 15 minutes per day now you'll be able to set a habit where it becomes a little bit easier over time but at first you may forget and it may feel a little bit uncomfortable especially when you're trying to converse or when you're trying to explain something that you really want to get across and you don't have the words stick with it even if it's hard 
just do 15 minutes per day and do it diligently yeah even like do it on the most random you don't have to set like oh at 8 a.m we have to speak but like you know try to like when you're cooking when you're walking um when you're doing like other things just try to like integrate it until like you're so used to it that like it becomes more than 15 minutes second tip is write what you're learning on index cards or pieces of paper so just like this instead of like you know looking at your computer or just look, just looking at your phone and what it translates into like make sure to write them down because writing them down like helps it retain on your brain better and so what i do is like whenever i teach james learns like the Tagalog word of the day I like write it on an index paper and then just like ask him throughout the day so he can see it or like you can even flip it like in front in the in the front is the Tagalog word and in the back is the English word so yeah that's something that like we've seen that really helped us and him in learning Tagalog faster Another tip is you can leave sticky notes around your house and so just try to look at everything in your home like for example uh, the table a door cabinet the kitchen um, a fan, stuff like that, just go ahead and write down the Tagalog version. So every time you go there, it's a constant reminder, oh, this is what this is. So obviously you're going to be going into the room a lot throughout the week. You're going to be moving around the house and you're going to be going to those areas. Every time you do it, make a mental note, say it aloud in your head. And when you do that constantly over time, that repetition will start to seep into the subconscious and you'll be able to retain those words for a longer amount of time. Yeah, so like anything visual honestly like helps like I feel like you don't have to just like read a book or You know with it like make it visual make it fun like put sticky notes everywhere Like it doesn't matter when we have friends like visiting they'll learn it too And like when we have people that are visiting the house at least they can see what it means and like oh like they're learning Tagalog too <laughs> yeah. So I just want to say how thankful and how grateful I am for my wife and helping me learn Tagalog and learn more about our culture. Uh, I wouldn't choose anyone else in the world for that. And yeah, it's been so much fun and I've grown a ton in the last two years or so. And so before we move forward, we just want to share a dating service called Christian Filipina. This platform is super friendly where you can meet Christian Filipina's profile and connect in no time. Christian Filipina is about meaningful connections and good values. It's also a safe and reliable platform for me. The success stories are so heartwarming. Many people have found happiness and love here. Christian Filipina is about meaningful connections and great values. Whether it's about friendship, companionship, or life partner, Christian Filipina is your go-to. If you are ready to start your journey to love, click on the link description down below. The fourth tip is one of my favorite and James and I enjoy as much is watching Tagalog movies or shows, or in other words, or in Tagalog, we call it teleseries. It's really nice that we have Netflix now, but there's also other websites where you can watch it. Um, there's tfc.tv, but yeah, James and I just like laugh so much whenever we would watch Tagalog movies and then he'll start um, recognizing those words. But as I met her, she introduced me to a show called Dolce Amor, which is kind of like a love story between two, uh, a girl and a guy. One of them's in Italy, comes to Philippines. That's his favorite. Since college, we would watch that <laughs> together. I don't even know why I liked it so much, but... Is that why you like Liza Soberan? <laughs> I learned a lot of words, like mm, Namamamahai is yeah, I a word I learned from that show because it was like, oh, I can relate to this whenever I travel somewhere. I feel like I have to get used to the place before I can actually have a good night rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we definitely recommend this TV show. We're going to um, point on the link below on how you can find it. But this is such a nice show to learn Tagalog because it's about Serena, like who's from Italy. And she's also learning about Tagalog and like about the Philippines. So if you want to learn about the Philippines, like you can watch this and like, you know, because that's her role in this TV show is integrating her life in the Filipino culture after living in Italy for such a long time. And there's a lot of killing moments. <laughs> Here are other movies and TV shows that you can watch where we definitely recommend where you can learn about Tagalog and also learn about Filipino culture. Don't forget uh, the classic Vice Gundam movies. Oh my gosh, those are so <laughs> funny. Um, spoiler alerts, a lot of them can be really cheesy, but if you really want to learn, like that's how Filipino movies are. <laughs> Another bonus tip is you can go and start learning Tagalog songs. 
um there's so many tagalog songs opium music that you can kind of listen to and if you play ukulele or you play guitar or something even piano you can start practicing and you mm -hmm. can use that as a way of you know learning because when you sing it you retain it a lot easier because your memory is a lot stronger Yes, James just recently learned the song Nasayo na ang lahat. <laughs> and whenever we would learn it, like, you know, like we wouldn't just sing it. I would tell him like, okay, this is what it means. And so like just like learning some of those were like, oh yeah, that's from that song. That word is from that song. And so he could like slowly like remember those words. All right. So this part of the vlog, we're going to do a quiz time. Oh no. <laughs> and James is not expecting this. And so I put some questions quizzes or like questions on like things to ask him that he's been learning recently or in the past just to see how he's retaining it oh, and he's no. actually listening to what i teach him okay just to make things more fun there is a prize money of a hundred dollars what really <laughs> yeah that will go towards your ski trip across the philippines so if you haven't watched his previous ski trip make sure to watch it it's really cool where he traveled just by skateboarding from the top of luzon to manila um the link is below it's a really fun mini documentary and in a few days he's gonna do part two where he's gonna co go come from manila all the way to the northern tip of mindanao so make sure you watch it like i pick these specific tagalog words because i know that they're gonna be beneficial when he travels to the philippines so if you're planning on coming to the philippines or traveling to the philippines these are actually words that you can really use when traveling first question is how do you say in tagalog where um saan Good job. yay second question is when um when is uh Ano? No. <laughs> Ink. Okay, minus twenty dollars. <laughs> Just kidding. James, when, when, when is when is the? Kailan? There you go. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Speak okay. louder. Okay. No, no, that would be included. Okay. How about what? What is ano? Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I know how my blood went blank. <laughs> okay, how about who? Uh, like you? Who? No, Tocino? I'm... That Tocino? Sino. Sino. Yay. <laughs> how about how? How is, um, uh, Paano? Yeah, good job. Yeah. Oh, paano, okay. Okay, so we're gonna do, I'm gonna put these in sentences, okay? How about, what time is it? Ano oras? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Or anong oras? Ano oras? Ano oras na, okay. How about, where are you going? Saan ka papunta? Good job, yeah. okay. So like when you're traveling and asking for directions, you can ask like, where is SM? Saan ay uh, SM? Ang? Saan ang SM? Yay! Okay. How about where is the nearest Jollibee? Saan ang Jollibee? Yay! Okay, we, we forgot the nearest one, but that's okay. Like, Filipinos can understand like Taglish or like even if it's... Sometimes like there's a lot of Koreans in the Philippines and they actually speak broken Tagalog, mm. but we still understand it and we love it when they try. We just love when people try. Like one thing to know is that Filipinos like even if you just like do the most minimal thing like this minimal effort in learning our culture we appreciate it so much so don't be scared if your tagalog is broken if your tagalog is wrong you're, if you're trying like that means a lot to us okay. mm. when is the wedding Kailan ang kasal? there you go yay how about how much is this water when you're buying in the tindahan in the philippines or when you go to the mall you can ask like how much is this water um makano ng tubig po <laughs> yay tubig po. Tubig. okay so speaking of numbers let's try numbers james recently just like started practicing more his numbers <laughs> and so we're gonna count numbers so james from one to ten go um yeah. <laughs> okay, never no. mind. Wait, 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 wait. Minus $40. Wait, 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 wait. wait, you're talking about numbers, right? Yeah, numbers. Okay. 
um, isa um, dalawa tatlo apat lima anim pito um, walo siam and sampo good job what's eleven labing isa good job i thought you were gonna say isa isa in one of our tiktok videos <laughs> i asked him what is 11 he said isa isa but yeah that's good all right here's two four six eight ten your hundred dollars as promised you did so good hundred dollars so yes. much money it's oh going gosh. towards your trip towards the philippines Actually, what i'm gonna do i think is um i will use this money to do some good deeds along the skate trip and maybe help some people out with Aww. some Really? Fun things like food and treats. Yeah. You know? Well, we hope that you enjoyed our video and vlog today. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos like this coming soon. Yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one and stay tuned for the skate trip.